three. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this video, I want to answer a question that a lot of you guys have been asking out there, especially for people that are new to the market. Um, how many accounts should you have uh, as an investor or somebody that's just getting into the market? So I want us to talk about that in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So if you are new to the market, you don't know where to start, uh, you're thinking how many accounts should you have, what kind of accounts should you have, all those different questions that uh, is probably going through your mind. So, and, and I've seen in the comment section, people are asking all these questions. So I'm gonna break it down to you guys based on my personal experience and how I've structured it. So I do have three main accounts. So, and the reason why I have three main accounts is because of the different kinds of investments that I'm doing. So in the market, you could have three kinds of people, right? You have long-term investors, again, I call them investors, and then you have short-term traders, and then you have immediate traders. So short-term traders will be people that are like swing traders. You buy, hold for a week, two, a month, or three, and sell and make profit. Those have uh, tax implications, and that will be a separate video, not in this one today. And then you have uh, day traders, people that buy and sell securities those same days. So you have those three different groups. Um, I do fall in all three categories. So for uh, for investing, I have an account that I buy stocks and hold long term, three, four, five years, 10 years. Um, I have some ETFs that I've had for, I don't know, 12, 13 years, and I keep adding and I see opportunity for those. So those are my long-term investments, and that one, I have them in a separate account. So for just for context, I have that account with Vanguard, and that's where I put money in there, buy stocks, and just let them ride. I don't even worry about them, because when I tell you guys that these are stocks that I'm buying long-term, I'm buying it in that account in that uh, Vanguard account because I want to hold them long term. Then uh, I have uh, two other accounts with uh, Weibo. So I have a margin account with Weibo, which I use for day trading, which means I buy and sell stocks to make profit the exact same day. So when you watch my videos, uh, when I talk about uh, my trade recap, that account is a margin account with uh, Weibo. And then I have my swing trade account with Weibo again. And that account is a cash account with Weibo. So you can have two accounts with Weibo, um, a margin account and a cash account. So that's how I've actually structured it. So based on how much money you have in the accounts, I can determine which one you want to use. So if you have less than $25,000 in your uh, account, then I'll say use a cash account if you want to do day trading. But if you have over $25,000 and then use your margin account for day trading. So that is how I want you to approach it. So in my long-term account, like I said, when I see a stock that I like, so for instance, CCIV, Chelsea Capital, that's in the process of taking uh, Lucid Models public. I see that stock as a long-term stock. So I like the company, I like what they're doing. So I want to hold that stock long-term. I'm not just looking for a quick profit. So I'm buying it in my Vanguard long-term account. Then uh, when I see a stock that has shown some momentum and I want to just buy and, and make some profit, I can still buy CCIV just for a quick profit in my swing account. So if I see, let's say for instance, CCIV recently pulled all the way down to $18, at that particular point in my swing account, I'm gonna jump in and buy some because I know from there it's gonna squeeze up back to 20, 21, 22 and I'll make some profit. So that's the mindset and then when I make that profit, I take that, I can buy more other stocks or I can swing it or I can remove the profit in that account and then send it over to my Vanguard account where I can actually um, invest it in my Lucid model long term. So that is the mindset there for my swing account. Again, I would hold stocks overnight. I'll hold them for a week, two, a month in that account, sometimes even three months in that account because I, I, I'm holding them in anticipation of a squeeze uh, either because of a specific catalyst which could be some news or whatever. So that's how that account works. And then again, my day trading account, 
when I get up in the morning, um, I actually go through my watch list and I've been posting that watch list in my Discord server. So if you're not part of our server, I'm gonna put the link in the description below so you can come join, it's free. Um, I post that watch list in there um, so that people can trade. Um, so when I, I look at those stocks in my watch list, I trade those stocks, I make profit, I sell the stocks those days. Most of the stocks, I, I haven't done um, detailed research as understanding what the financials are. I just look for a catalyst. Let's say uh, they are, it's a spark that's taking another company public or they're doing a merger or maybe there's a new product or a, the new software they're releasing, just something that is driving, that's gonna drive the price of the stock that day. I'll go in and I'll make profit. There's a lot of Chinese companies in there, which is a, kind of like a pump and dump. So I don't buy and hold the stocks because you can see a stock go from like $2 to $20 in less than an hour and then crash back all the way to $2. So if you buy that stock, I say $15, $16, thinking it's gonna keep ripping, next thing you know, it's down to six, five, dollars and you're down a ton so i don't hold those stocks um overnight i don't even hold them for a, a, a long amount of time i hold them as short as possible i go in i have my objective i make my 100 200 300 dollars i'm out if there's another opportunity i'll go in put a tight stop loss and try to make as much as i can and get out i don't plan on holding those stocks because i'm not a greedy savage if you're a greedy savage that's up to you but use the tools that are given to you by these platforms i use webo for trading and i they have all the tools that i need um, as far as trailing stop stop losses to help me protect my gains so you should also do that so that's what i wanted to cover in this video again to give you guys some context why i have three main accounts again the breakdown here is i have a vanguard account for my long-term investment stocks that i buy and don't touch when i say don't touch i don't plan on selling them anytime soon i plan on selling them down the road we're looking uh 10 15 20 years in case i mean like i don't even want to sell them that is the plan there that's why i have that i call it a long term and i look for stocks that have opportunity i look for disrupting stocks so for instance i like tesla i like cc ivy um so i like those kind of stocks um that are making a move in let's say a new space i buy and hold them long term and then i have my swing account where i buy and, and hold it for a week a day maybe three months and sell it and make some profit again like i said um it has some tax implications and then my day trading account which also has uh has some implications of both we bought is a margin account i buy and sell intraday um so that is uh what i i use that's why i use three um accounts so if you do have any questions guys again let me know in the comment section what you think about is how many accounts do you have do you understand what i'm saying here do you see the benefits of having these three accounts i know you're probably thinking like oh do i have to log in here and log in here you have to do it um i trade on a computer i have my setup here so i'll open my uh, swing account when i have to and i'll open my day trading account that's the one that i focus on, on a daily basis but then when there's an opportunity to swing and you know, i'll open my swing account and buy or sell whatever security that i want to sell and then again my long term i would go in there once in a while to either put money and go add to my position for a particular stack or just to go in there and, and kind of take a look and see what's going on but i don't go in there on a daily basis because it doesn't make any it doesn't help me in any shape or form to go in there in and out every single day so that's how i operate over here again let me know in the comment section what you think about this if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content also if you are looking to get started with investing guys we both has their promotion right now where if you sign up and deposit a hundred dollars you get free stocks links in the description below and as always guys do your due diligence don't be a greedy savage stay motivated